Hey everyone, now before the video gets started, I just want to give a quick shout out to Gamer Forever. He's a small YouTuber just like me, and he makes some high quality non commentary gameplay videos, and he needs some help. For each video he uploads, his viewers decrease more and more. So, so please subscribe to him and tell him you, you came from me. And you want, you know what? He's actually an Oddball fan. So if you ask him really nice, he might do some Oddball gameplay for you. Alright, so do me a favor, subscribe to him and tell him you came from me. Alright, now let's let the actual video begin. Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Ali, and today I'm going to show you a bit of a special video. Today I'm going to show you how you can play Oddball Apes Odyssey 2 player with two Nintendo Switch. So for this, I'm going to show you step by step how you can do it. So in order to do this, you'll need two Nintendo Switch, obviously with just two console, no need with anything else important inside install it a computer of course and and your computer also need bluetooth connection and you also need to install some programs inside the computer and the most important one is this called thin vnc i'll explain to you later how it works and what you need to do for this so First things first is you need to connect all four Joy-Cons to your computer. And for this, I have already done that because it took me forever to connect them all four to my computer. So as you can see, they're just light is flickering, meaning that they are connected. But obviously, yeah, you probably don't really know myself how you can do it so if you don't know it I'll show it to you all right so first thing first is the joy guns all of them need to be disabled from the switches themselves so in order to let them connect into your computer you need to go right here click on this arrow and click on the Bluetooth icon see here also yeah sorry for that quality and click on this called join a personal network and this one here should show up and for this go to this one called add a device and then you'll see this where your computer is trying to look for, look for devices so when you're doing this, just hold this button here till the name shows up. And the icon for the Joy-Con is marked as a controller. And for this one, it's called Joy-Con L because this is the left Joy-Con. And for the right Joy-Con, it's called Joy-Con R. So when the computer has found them, just click next and then you have connected them. And once you have connected them, all four to your computer we're now going to the next step for the next step we need to stream the two nintendo switches to my computer if so, some of you might have seen this trick i have done this trick before to show up some adult gameplay on my devices so i'm going to show it to you by myself so we're going to start with the first one first you need to go to the internet you go on internet settings then you search on your own internet then you go on change settings and you just go into DNS settings and you should set it to a manual and as you can see I have already done that now once you have done that click on primary DNS and put this one here what I'm showing you to you right now and once you've done that just hold on wait a minute it's better. okay much better just press okay and save and 
the next thing just press connect to this network and it'll now test it and it's, it'll say registration is required to use this web network if this one show up you've done it correct click next and yeah right it'll send you right here to this called switch room dns now go to this one called enter url and here enter url okay so what you have to type is your own ip address and this is here where the program then vns shows up this one's very important i'll leave a link to this program in the description so you just need to boot up the program and that's it and as you can see the server name for this is called 808 which also show here if you click on http it'll see here so just boot it up and just let show here and that's it you don't you just don't need to do anything else now you'll also need to Put on your IP address from your computer here on the switch. So if to do this, you just need to go search and type CMD, the command input, and go on there and then type IP config. Press enter and this one will show up. Now look for the one called ipv4 address this is your ip address that is the one you need to type in on your nintendo switch so i'll do this and you need to but first need to type in http uh, there we go and then your ip address okay and after that you just of the slash and now you have to enter the server name for the thin vns which was 8080 so just do that there we go it should look like this then press done actually i know it should send you here and it'll ask you for machine so not really sure by myself but it's probably the name of your computer, so my computer is just has just my name. Done. Press OK, and now it should show my computer. Yes, there we go. There's my computer showed on on the screen. Okay, now we need to do the same thing for the next switch. It's pretty much the same, so I'm just gonna do a really big skip here. All right, so now I've done the same for the second switch and I have successfully streaming to my PC. Now both of them is now streamed to my PC. Okay, so now that you have connected your Joy-Cons to the PC, you can now put them back on your switch, but don't attach them exactly on the switch. So just do it like almost in there now it you shouldn't be able to hear a click just here. this should be enough and okay and as you can see i attached to my switch console but they're not actually attached because they are still connected to my computer because if you hear a click, the Joy-Cons will automatically connect to the switch and disable the connection with your computer. And if you have done that, you need to go over that all over again. So I also need to do the same with this one. So you gotta be really, really careful. Just don't attach completely down. Good thing so. Now I test them, which doesn't look that good, 
But I was actually a little bit scared. Anyway, into the next step. Okay, the next step is, which I also forgot at the beginning, sorry. You also need a PlayStation 1 emulator and a ROM of Apes Odyssey. So for this I use EPSXE, but if you use another PlayStation emulator, very well, doesn't matter, but I recommend EPSXE. So we need to configure the buttons for the Joy-Con. Just go configure, gamepad, port 1, pad 1. Now, there is one minus about this one. Because the thing is, you can't remap a button, a controller, for the emulator with two different controllers connected to the computer. Because, uh, f like for this one here example, I can only remap with the left Joy-Con and not the right because it, it won't connect it at all. So this is a bit of a problem. But I actually have a solution to this. For this you'll need another program that is called UCR, uh, which looks like this. And what UCR is, it's a program that lets you be able to remap your keyboard mapping into a connected controller to your, that has been connected to your computer. And I would really recommend using this program. This is such a fantastic program and this has solved a lot of problems for me every time I try to connect any wireless controller to my computer. So for this one, I think you should also use it. And as you can see, I have already remapped like all my keyboard controls to the Joy-Cons. And it doesn't really have any reaction, hold on. So as you can see, when I just go on, on with this joystick, It'll react because what you can see here is that I replaced the, my keyboard mapping of the arrow keys up, down, left, and right, the Joy Cons on my Nintendo Switch. Which, in, in other words, it, the computer now thinks that this joystick from the Joy Con is actually the arrow keys from the keyboard, which is really nice program and with this you can go with everything you already can do with uh the joystick <laughs> sorry man i can't really talk so you probably you probably don't know how this works but even though i have already done it i can just sh quickly show you how and also i'll leave a link to ucr in the description as well so first things you need to click on add but I have already done and create a new profile just name it add anything I have already done that so I'm called this Joy-Con 1 and 2 because I remapped all four Joy-Cons for this now the next thing you need to do is you need to go up here and choose the one called remapper button to button this one is called Remaps button type inputs keys mouse button joystick buttons plus head direction choose this one and Now you have to press add and For this you can just call what this mapping should be called and I pressed okay Okay, so this is now an empty button mapping so for the input click on this and now click binding and now it tells you to press a button for this i'm gonna chew the up joystick and it reacted which you can see here um for the output i'm gonna choose 
Oh yeah, first you need to click select keyboard mouse bending. And for this I'm gonna click the up arrow. Oh oops. Uh click on something else. Sorry. Alright, so now when I press now up, oh wait. When I press up, you'll see that it'll now react to this. And it will, it'll even react to multiple controllers that has been connected to your computer, which is a really awesome thing for UCR. And it's amazing. So after you have mapped all of the buttons, so all four joy cons you can now move forward also one another thing i want to mention it it doesn't really matter what keyboard you want to remap uh, yeah i just choose them random so you don't need to do the exact same keyboards all right then now that we have streamed those switches connected the joy cons to my computer and just remapped all of them to UCR we can now go to the best part so for this we can now go to EPSXE so yeah as you can see here you can now remap them exactly as you want so I have already done that because yeah, like I said, it took me forever to connect them, and I also already remapped them. So for this, I remapped the control for player one, and as you can see here, you can see the keyboard map mappings, which is which is this one. I replaced it with my Joy Cons, so I can actually use these keyboard mappings with my Joy Con. Okay, you know. A bit confused and uh, it's a bit hard for me to talk okay so you also need to remap for the player 2 you just go on game pads port 2 and pad 1 for this i have already done that you just click on them and you just remap them all right now it's time to open up apes oddity you just go on run Edu and click on Apes Odyssey. For this one, I choose version 1.0. For some reason, version 1.1 then real work. And I also set it to Windows mode because for the secure, because probably it may not work on full screen. The real try myself. There we go. Showed up. And as you can see, they they even show up here. So. For for this, you can also zoom in the screen of the streaming of, on your Switch. That's right here. Perfect. I also did the same here. Okay, no, I think I zoomed in too much. Good. Well, now we have them both streaming. So, okay. All right, so, as you can see, I can now control it with this one, which is the player one. And this is supposed to be player two. And as you can see, I can't do anything. Okay, so, we just go and begin. Okay. Then, click on player two. Operator mode just begin. Also, it, it also showed up on this one because they're both streaming at the same time. Just skip. Okay. So, now you can see I can now control Ape with this one. Switch here. But if I try to do it here, Nothing works. 
because it's not the player 2's turn. So if player 1 dies, the player 2 can now play. So let me just show that. Let me just kill myself. Okay. Okay, now it's player 2's turn. So if I... And as you can see, now this switch can control Abe. But this one can. See? There we go. I just created a two-player mode with two Nintendo Switch. Isn't that awesome? Well... Alright, I moved now my switch here on the table just to get a better look. And you should still be able to hear something. Alright, now let's try the two-player mode in action. So, this is now the player two I'm playing as. And the player one just has to look until player one dies. Okay, let's try kill player two. Uh... Okay, player two is dead. Now it's player one's turn. Oh. Okay. There we go. Oh, wait. Oh. There we go. And player two has just has to look. <laughs> well, it will be cooler if I had someone else to play with me. But I'm just alone here in the room. Yeah. There we go. So, I don't really know how much I have to go through this because I basically just finished it, but let's just do it for fun. Okay, let's let's kill player one again and switch player. <laughs> wow. Just lagged. Okay. Now I just play two turn. Maybe I should show it like this, even though it is a bit harder for me. go all right guys i i think that's enough showing apes artisan to nintendo switch so if you really enjoyed this video and if you actually found this tutorial helpful then please like and comment what you actually think about it so thank you all so much for watching if you like this video like comment and subscribe and i will see you all next time bye bye